so um this is the um video about my mom and her issue with my dreads and um i'm probably gonna speak pretty fast so i can get all my points in but here it goes um my mom is the type of person that always has something to say and the type of person who you know no matter how positive you know what you do no no, how, no matter how positive you know you're doing you know something or something you know you have something positive going for you that poison that person that's a you know the negative Nancy Debbie Downer. It's my mom. I believe if she met Jesus Christ, she would talk you know find something negative about him. His skin ain't his skin ain't bronze enough for her. You know, whatever. Also, she is a proponent of looking your best and being presentable and all of that stuff. You know, you know going to the grocery store. You know you can't just throw on anything. Cause you know there's always somebody watching or whatever, so you need to you know have your best clothes on. You have to look good. So. That's her whole you know thing. So you know keep that in mind. You know as you're hearing, you know some of this stuff or whatever. Um, as far as me going natural and being natural, that's not the issue. She had you know a fro herself back in the seventies, and it was very beautiful. And I think you know upon hearing. Of, you know that I was going natural I think she was thinking more of natural like you know a lot of people are actually going natural she was thinking of you know more of it you know just a style or whatever and wasn't thinking of you know me doing anything with it besides you know just braids and twists and all that other stuff um so I um transitioned for about a year um, eight months, um, and, and, and then, like, this, transi this transition, I didn't go to the shop, I just got it braided, you know, two-strand twist, you know, and that, that's, you know, pretty much all I did. Um, I started doing my own hair, my mom didn't like that, because she also believes that a professional should always do your hair. I don't know. But, um, so, there's that, um, aspect or whatever, and I transitioned, you know, for about a year. Um, eight months in, I cut it because it was too much with two textures. So I cut it and I had about half perm, you know, half nappy. Um, and I did two strand twists for, you know, about first semester in college or whatever. And, um, I also at college, I met, you know, one of my good friends and she was going natural. We started, you know, the same, about the same time. We didn't know each other, but we just started at the same time, you know, going natural. So we were going through the motions together. And then around the Thanksgiving break, she cut her hair, cut off her perm dance. And I was like, I must do that. I want to do that. Because my intention was to cut it anyway around the year mark, which was going to be in December. So it wasn't that far off. So I got home for Thanksgiving and I cut it. My mom was pissed because I didn't have a professional do it. It was uneven. It wasn't shaped. Blah, blah, blah. And it, it, it really wasn't that bad. And I really didn't care because I was going to get dreads anyway. So no one was going to see this uneven fro. Um, and I didn't even start my dreads. I couldn't find, you know, the right, you know, size or whatever. I didn't start them until March. So ultimately, ultimately my first, you know, three months of locking, she didn't see my hair. I mean, but that should have been the time when she should have saw it because that's when it looked like, you know, just coils. And it was, you know, nice looking. It wasn't, you know, too crazy. It wasn't too bad. So, um, you know, there's that. Uh, but, and when I got home from the summer, all she wanted to do, she wanted it done. She was just wanting to, wanted me to wash it. Wanted, she wanted that fresh twist look. I only twist my hair once a month. And... I would twist it, you know, on my lock anniversary, and that's what, you know, she, and I guess, you know, she really didn't say anything about it. I guess it wasn't, you know, that big of a deal. So, I was okay, you know, with twist my hair. She didn't say anything, wasn't bothering me. I was fine. Um, but until recently, she's talking about taking it down, washing, combing it out, um, you know, using conditioner, and going to the shop to get it professionally done because they do it better and i'm kind of like no because keep in mind i'm going into my fourth month i'm in my fourth month going into my fifth 
so the buds are there hair starting to lock i've actually wet my hair a couple of times they haven't unraveled like it was in that one video they stay in place so now i'm like yeah i don't know about it you know i mean you know you can of course you can comb locks out but like i don't know if i want to go through the trouble of doing all that and I think she's under the impression that when I do have my hair retwisted, that it's taken down and actually retwisted with a fro. Like, starting from, starting from a fro. And that's not the case. Um, I guess this whole issue is a, a bit of my fault because I haven't actually told her my intentions, you know, with locking. Um, I just don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get into it because I believe that... You know those issues I said before, whatever. She's gonna have something negative to say. It's not gonna. She say it's not gonna be look presentable. That um, I won't get a job. But I think if we learned anything with this recession, is that you're not guaranteed to have a job regardless of how you look. So, I, so with keeping that in mind, I would rather go into the workforce, the career field. You know, having my hair the way I want it. It, because a job isn't guaranteed so at the end of the day i still look the way i wanted you know w with the with or without the job i think that that that's important you know for me as an individual and another thing about why i guess i haven't told her is that a, a relative was wanting to um start some dreads and she just kind of like Ugh, she wants her hair to lock and she you know said it she was very condemning and condescending and I was like, when I heard that, I was kind of like, oh, now I really can't tell her. Because, I, I mean, I just don't want to hear that. I'm I'm kind of on this, you know, positive streak. And I'm, I'm already pessimistic enough myself. And I just want to, you know, surround myself with positivity and all that. So, I mean, it's, it's starting to cause tension. Anytime she mentions something about my hair, I just, you know, have an attitude or whatever. And I really, you know, I guess shouldn't, you know be so upset like that about it you know but i mean i'm just you know um i want some feedback some advice on what i should do should i you know go ahead and tell her or keep up with my current plan of just waiting until i go away to school because i'm gonna retwist my hair it's just not gonna be now because summer is not over for me i still want to go out with my friends be outside in the heat sweat and um swim and stuff and I don't want, you know, me to have, you know, a retwist, you know, now, and then two weeks later have to do it again, because I just, I just don't like retwisting my hair like that, and, you know, I just, I, I, I kind of like it, you know, how it is, and so, just, you know, just some advice, what do I do?